Hey, welcome back, everybody. Last night, Khloe Kardashian, she took to Twitter because she was sharing with her nearly 20 million followers that the hit show Making a Murderer was going to have her up all night. And then she tweeted that she had to get some sleep before her workout, but she wanted to finish the entire series in one night. Good luck, Chloe. Well, this morning, our fitness expert, Libby Norris, is here with us um, to have your binge watching cake and work it off to welcome. Yes, thank you. You know, it's a norm. Yeah, we love to binge watch, but we're not doing anything by definition when we're right. doing it. And, and you can absolutely multitask. And everybody's tight for time with their workout, so why not combine your workouts with your watching. Okay, so you've got some <laughs> ideas on how we could do this yes. in a really easy way. Well, there's so many different things that you can do right in your living room with little to no equipment. Right. And we've got these three over here who are going to be working hard while we chat. Wonderful. <laughs> this is uh, so this Calabrina, is Marisa, Marissa, and Colin. Yep. So yes. Colin's just going to be doing some squats up and off the couch. So you could do that easily, okay. absolutely anytime. Calabrina's using the dumbbells, and you can keep those under the couch. They okay. take up space or gather dust or anything. Okay. And she's just starting with some upper body exercise, but she could also make it more challenging and then add the squat ups that Colin's doing and make it a multi-muscle exercise. So now you're getting serious. Yeah. So it can be just very minor movement. Marissa over at the side is just doing some subdued movement with the bands. Again, a really cheap, simple, easy thing to keep under the couch or the chair so that it's accessible anytime that you feel motivated to move. Okay. I want to just talk about equipment because equipment, right. I know um, calabrina has got five pound dumbbells bells in right. each hand. Is there anything else maybe you would suggest or something that if you're like, oh, I don't have dumbbells? Well, I've got a Pilates ball right here. Right. It weighs about five pounds. Okay. The bands, Colin's got... We've got kettlebells here. Okay. These are easily accessible at so many department stores now, and it really is a quick, easy fix for home workouts. Okay. Oh, Colin's getting, <laughs> he's going in for the tricep dip. Are you kidding me? Well, and you don't want to minimize the impact of, of what you can do in a few minutes on okay. the couch. So whether you're binge watching and taking a break between episodes or using your commercial breaks to time your circuits, but all of those little things add up, and they've done a lot of research to support that anywhere from five to ten minutes of workouts uh -huh. accumulated is as effective as our hour-long workouts at the gym. Ooh, that's fantastic. And think of it too, if you're binge watching, you might be binge eating too. So if you're <laughs> working out, um, they've done research too to say that mini workouts actually help to boost your self-control. I can't handle what's happening right here. <laughs> because, I, I mean, you guys look amazing. Colin is now doing full-blown push-up. Can you add a cardio component at oh, all to absolutely. this? absolutely. So you could be running on the spot. You could be jogging on the spot. You okay. could go and do stairs in between commercial breaks. But uh -huh. a lot of this sort of thing, Colin's doing these like mountain climbers. Yep. But if you're doing full body muscle like Calabrina over there, yes. you are getting your heart rate up. Or if you've got the kettlebell yep. and doing swings, I'll get Colin to do the swings as well. As soon as you engage more muscles, you're getting the, the heart rate going, so you are burning more calories okay. and getting that cardio involved a bit. Let's talk about those commercial breaks. So you say you can actually make a lot happen in a commercial. Oh my word. So imagine if you were doing three different exercises here. Most commercials are about 30 seconds. Yes. So if Colin was doing 30 seconds of these kettlebell swings, Calabrina was, then would do 30 seconds of those uh, she's doing overhead presses and Marissa's working on her triceps. So at, at commercial breaks are a great timer because in the gym we use 30 seconds so often to train. I love so it's 30, this. 30, 30. Okay, so here's the, the million dollar question. How do we motivate ourselves? We've just been watching like three episodes in a row. We're like, wow, we got to get off the couch. So what is the trick to tell yourself this has got to happen? Now? And this is where I like to suggest some piece of equipment. Okay. You know, whether it's a band, a ball, or a set of dumbbells, it's a visual reminder mm -hmm. that, oh, I could be doing this. Or keep your shoes tucked under the couch. Anything visual that you can provide yourself is that great motivation and reminder. And also to track your time, too. Yes. Because so often we write that off thinking oh it's nothing but just even fidgeting during mm -hmm. the day you can burn 350 calories they've done tests which is like a fitness class okay I, th it, it all adds up it all adds up <laughs> Libby this is great thank you all great love watching you guys work out that was fantastic yeah. <laughs> it's my kind of workout Libby that was great thank you thank you um, mm -hmm. so if you'd like more tips you can check out Libby's blog on our website that's canadaam.ctvnews.ca